a um, little quick update video on this <clears throat> rusty cichlid. As you can see, she has a mouthful. Um, she was the first fish to breed in my one night stand motel tank. She already spat, spat the fry out. There's a bunch of them in there, probably 20 or so. But tonight I think she's a little startled. Um, and she gathered them back up for safety. They're all in her mouth. She's struggling to keep them in there. She has at least, I'd say, 20 in her mouth. Yeah, so that's the update with her. Um, this is a large breeder box as opposed to the medium one I showed you earlier with the ACI. It basically gave her a lot of room. Didn't feed her at all. Um, today I put some food in there. Crushed up like really, really small for the fry. They were eating it. Um, so I'm just, I don't mind that she has a fry in her mouth right now because uh, there's no rush. The plan is to put her back into the main tank, remove the males, and let her recover. Gain some strength. And then um, she'll probably be going back to my friend Jay. She's another fish I've been babysitting. All the fish I've been babysitting in this tank have been getting knocked up. Her sister is over here. She's also holding. She's a little bit um, not as far along, but she's going to spit those any day now, too. Anyway, that's just the update in the rusty cichlid. Pretty fish. Um, lots of fry in her mouth. And she's just hiding out in that little. Uh, small cichlid stone. These cichlid stones are great. I mean, if you've never used them before, um, they're nice little hideaway spots in the tank. But even better, I find they're really good for the uh, the breeder boxes because the females can just go in there, um, hang out, feel secure. If they see the light, like watch this, put the light on her. She doesn't like it. She'll usually go back in that cave. Oh, she's giving me a nice close up here. But anyway, you can see the mouth action. You can see some of the rusty color on her, on her face, too. It's kind of cool. Hard not to like um, African cichlids. So, yeah, so lots of fry from here. If you're interested in some fry, again, um, send me a message. I'm in the uh, southern Ontario area in Windsor, near Detroit, Michigan. And um, I'll contact my buddy Jason. He actually owns the fish. And they'll see if we can um, arrange something for you. Pick up some fry or maybe even one of the females. Males, we'll see what happens. That's it for now, and um, maybe tomorrow I'll encourage her to get the fry out. We'll get a little video of her with all her fry. Pretty fish, rusty cichlid. Uh, been in the hobby for a long time, this fish, but it's still a nice fish to have. Good night.